But I think my favorite story is, of course, the time you got your dick sucked on the Comedy Store stage with Ari Shafir. Back then, that place was just wild. It was a Sam Kinison tribute night in the main room, but they were products of the I Sam see. Kinison tribute, the porn stars and stuff like that that ended up on the patio that night. There's somehow the talk of a dick competition comes up. And then I'll never forget this, PJ, but he was this like Jersey f Northeast guy, smoked cigarettes, slicked his hair back, always wore a linen Hawaiian shirt. But he's like, are we having a fucking dick competition? Rubbing his dick. And we're just like, so then Sam's like, take it to the stage. <laughs> and then Ari and Dan end up on stage. Feel free to chime in. If yeah, I say anything. it was, she brought, they brought the nerdy guy up and the nerdy guy was gonna go against Ari. It was the nerdy guy and Ari for the big dick contest. And that, that was what was gonna happen. And the nerdy guy was just like, oh no, 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 I can't do this. I, I can't, I have, to, I have to bail. And there, and everybody's like, no, what are you doing? We have to have the contest. And I was just like, all right, I'll do it. I stood up, I'll take one for the team, let's, let's go. So he takes the stage and somehow the big dick competition just became two guys getting blowjobs on stage. And yeah, and I'll never forget this, both Ari and Dan had completely no pubes. And I was like, how are these motherfuckers <laughs> so ready? And that was that night. That was probably the, a wild Dan Madonia story. Afterwards, it was so funny, because after that happened, literally a million horny comics, like, bombarded this girl like oh, oh, oh like oh, i have a dick that could get sucked too <laughs> <laughs> like, i was just like i just grabbed her but i was like come on let's go we're getting you out of here and you took her I, home yeah i saved her life that night uh